Well, the thought of the semifinals at Top Fuel coming up has brought all the people out of the pits and back into the grandstands. The first pair already on the starting line, fired and ready. It will be Bill Mullins from Alabama against this young man, Daryl Gwynn. And when I say young, I mean 21. But I'll tell you what, a real veteran in terms of miles on a drag strip. Came from a drag racing family, father raced, and as you said earlier, Steve, has a world championship and top alcohol drag store under his belt. So this is far from a novice going to the line here. And it's all brand new, fresh equipment for the Gwen family. On the other hand, in the far lane is 50-year-old Bill Mullins driving for John and Shirley Carey. Now, that used to be the Jody Smart top fuel car, so it has got a lot of miles on it. And as we saw earlier in qualifying, they have already had one engine explosion. They had one also at the Gator Nationals earlier this year. They are not afraid to kaboom that motor if that's what it takes to get to the finish line. Well, they're a mighty, mighty tough combination. Remember, they put away Gary back in the last round with identical ET. So Mullins a very poised and a very, very competent race driver. Now, Daryl Gwynn, in his first round win, smoked the tires. In fact, didn't even get into the five-second elapsed time zone. So I'm sure some clutch adjustments have gone on in that camp. Interesting confrontation. Bill Mullins, uh, like Don Garlitz in his early 50s, been around the business forever. Daryl Gwynn uh, racing like a man uh, with about 30 years of experience. There goes a handshake from his father as Daryl Gwynn gets ready to go to stage that car. Imagine what it's like for a kid that age to be uh, sitting in front of 3,000 horsepower. Got to be a little bit like riding a rocket sled, Brock. They take uh, four, five Gs right off the starting line. The negative Gs when the parachute hits. Here we see the new style front wheels engineered by Goodyear to keep those front tires in place. And they are off together. A little bit of tire smoke off of Daryl Gwynn's car. And it is a loss of traction that spells defeat for Daryl Gwynn. How about Mullins? He picks up a full tenth over his first round race, a 567, 254 miles an hour. Bill Mullins will go into the final round of the Cajun Nationals. The next pair lit and ready and rock. From the fans' point of view, this is the race of the day. Big Daddy Don Garlitz against Joe Amato. Big Daddy, of course, in his third decade of big-time drag racing, recorded probably more miles on a drag strip than any man. A thousands of miles, a quarter mile at a time against Joe Amato, the prosperous businessman, defending world champion, not anywhere near as much experience as Garlitz, but a very devoted drag racer nonetheless. This is going to be an interesting race. Like Bill Mullins, Joe Amato is a veteran of the top alcohol dragster race. Bill Mullins, of course, is already set for the finals. Well, a very strong, oil-free 567, Bill Mullins. We're happy with that. We'll take a win any way we can get it. And in this kind of heat, to just have those tires stick for a quarter of a mile is a triumph. Well, we had a lot of, a lot of tire shake, and I uh, shifted it real early, and I was afraid it might hurt it, but it, it seemed to come out all right. Who would you like to race in the final, Joe Amato or Don Garland? I don't mind either one as long as I can beat them. <laughs> you know, we're just going to need a lot of luck, that's for sure. They're two legends, you know. It's just going to be... It's a thrill to get to run either one of them. Well, let's go back to the starting line and see just exactly who will race Bill Mullen in the final of the 10th Annual 7-Eleven Cajun Nationals. Well, we'll have that information in a matter of seconds, Steve, as Amato stages. There's his wife, Jerry, standing by, fingers crossed. He's up against the legend of all legends, Big Daddy Don Garlitz. They stage very carefully. Garlitz in his home eight car. It is Amato up the mark first. Joe Amato left first. Here comes the black car. It is Garlitz having to drive around Amato. And oh, my, low elapsed time of the event. 5.55 seconds at 255 miles an hour. No shoot on Garlitz, but he's going to be okay. He's been in those sand traps before. He sure has. Let's have another look as Garlitz has to face a perfect light from Joe Amato. Amato away just a wink sooner, and it turns out to be just raw horsepower from that slightly smoking engine of Big Daddy's as he drives by Joe Amato for the victory. Well, for the first time this season, world champion Joe Amato will not be in the final round, but he still musters a grin. Well, Steve, it's a tough race. We knew it was going to be. You know, Don's a tough racer. And it's going to be an exciting championship this year. You know, that's why the winner's going to definitely really enjoy the, the rewards. You left first, and then all of a sudden here came that black car like a freight train. Yeah, my car seemed like it laid down in the middle. You know, the, the people... You know, I feel like bad for the crew in a way, you know, because uh, Tim Richards and my crew and my sponsors and all my fans, they do a good job. 
And when you won't win, you feel like, you know, you let them down. You know, I did my best leaving the line, and the car just didn't have enough power, you know? Well, just missing your first final in four races, uh, it's not going to cost any fans, Joe. No, well, the track was the big thing. We weren't sure how much power the track would take, and we were a little bit afraid of it, you know. But uh, there's next time, so we'll be, we'll be back. Well, as always, even when you lose, it's done with great style. Thank you, Steve. What a sportsman Joe Amato is, and what an addition he has been to the top fuel ranks. But right now, it's all Big Daddy. Don Garlitz proudly showing low elapsed time and top speed of the event. That's worth points towards a world championship. But more importantly, you kept Amato out of the final. That's what you're going to have to do from now on. That's right. He's, he's, he's way ahead, and we got to slow him down a little bit. And that I was really hoping that I was going to be able to do that. Of course, we hadn't been having a good day, but all of a sudden, his day turned around. And as is in drag racing, you know, you have ups and downs. <laughs> well, this is definitely an up. Where did all that performance come from? You wouldn't believe. We put, well, we put another transmission in it. You know, we're having backup troubles, and I'm wondering if there wasn't some problems in there. And, of course, that's what hurt the engine on the run before. The time that the delay, while they were pushing the car back, it actually hurt the engine. And then we made the run against Coletta. There wasn't nothing you could do. But that time, you know, it backed up perfect. Me and Joe went right up to the line. Everything was fine. These engines are very critical on heat. You're excited, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> Big Daddy, the winning of Drag Racer Mall can still get excited going into a final round. Look at him beam. <laughs> well, we're